the gods seem fit to rule these lands. Huh. Soldiers here, not the firebirds. Leave no one alive. Awaken Chaos Era. Welcome everybody, welcome. Today the new hero is out, that is Nero, and today we're gonna be doing shard pulls. So welcome, if you don't know me, my name is Bear Cozy. I strive to make not only entertaining, but also educational videos. I like to have a good time, I like to do shard pull videos. And today the new hero is out, and the new hero's name is Nero. Let's uh, go ahead and do our free daily summon. Of course, that's under the advanced summons, and then we're gonna jump right into Nero. Right now, I got 5.5% on the advanced summons. I have 5.5% chance to get a legendary, 6% chance to get a legendary, so that's going to be cool when that happens. Right now, we are doing the special summons for Nero. I got over 100 shards, which means I have enough. Let's go ahead and start popping them. The first 10 pull, we are going to be doing these in 10 pulls. Now, first 10 pull is unskippable. That means it's at minimum an epic which is amazing. Let's see what we get. What do we get? Hey, we got Edicris. So Edicris is awesome. I really, really need Edicris for Hard Void Tower. And this is my second copy, which is going to help me a ton. My first copy I got a little while ago. And uh, Edicris is awesome in Hard Void Tower because he removes buffs. And he is really good in a stun set, which is going to be awesome. So I have a, a stun set from God Fairy, who I've always called Godfrey. And I guess he is God Fairy. I have just always called him Godfrey. I don't know why. And I had a few people leave me comments on my YouTube video saying his name is Godfrey. And I looked at it and I said, oh yeah, you're right. But who cares? So anyways, Edicris is the first epic. Going on to epic number two. Going on to taxes. No epic in this one. This is all taxes. Rodir is very good. Mary is very good. And Joseph are all very good if you don't have them. However, I have them all. So moving on. Pull number three is unskippable. So... Here's what's going to happen. We are at least guaranteed one legendary because I do have 100 shards. So at 100, we are guaranteed one legendary. And then we can also get epics along the way. And if we get more than one legendary, that'll be awesome. Now, Hazel is okay. Hazel is usable. I am not building him just yet, but I guess he's very, very good because he has lots of sustain. Moving on, next temple. Let's go. We're going to get our little friend here to summon some shards. We are doing some shard pulls for Nero. I did not get Halia. I summoned for, for Halia. I didn't get my Unicorn Fish Princess. Urzag is actually okay. He's pretty good in the banker. Urzag is okay. Uh, I think that is my second copy of Urzag, so I can use that to ascend my regular one. Let's keep going. Not what I'm looking for. What I am looking for is my last copy of Zatlux. Zatlux is going to be awesome. And then, uh, you know, Evira, Valeria, that type of thing. Of course... Ar hey, we got Arya. Arya's new. That's cool. I really wanted Arya. She's really, really cool. That's awesome. She is a dark hero as well. And now uh, let's take a quick look. Her trait does inflict taunt on the enemy with the highest speed. So she is really good against go first teams in arena, which is awesome against Winstrix. Because if Winstrix doesn't do her buffs, the team is gimped a lot. So Arya is really good. And she's an epic as well, which means she is a lot easier to ascend than a legendary. However, she's a dark hero, and that's going to take some time. So let's go ahead with the new pull. I am pretty happy with my new heroes. I don't have enough resources to build all of them, so time will tell. This looks like taxes here. Taxes are paid. But the summons are still a lot cheaper than raid, which I no longer play. I still sort of play, but not really. Ace is a much better game. And I have some very exciting news, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be in the next video. I got another Urzak. Wow. Uh, okay, in three, two, one. Is there another one? Bruzak is awesome. Bruzak, I will take Bruzak. Not only does he look awesome, but his trait, if you don't have him, his trait is actually awesome. Nullifies the single target damage dealt to an ally whose health is below 50%, and he absorbs 50% of the damage. Can only be triggered two rounds. So not only does he nullify single target damage dealt to an ally in his team, but he also absorbs 50% of the damage. So he is actually very, very good. He can save somebody's life. So I really, really like Bruzag. And then, of course, he's got the defense up as well, which is awesome. All right, moving on to the next shard pulls. Let's go ahead. We are halfway through. We got five more, including this one. So we're going to have to, uh, we'll see what happens. What is this? What is this? What is this? We got Andre. Cool. Andre is cool. I wish it was Fish Andre. I, I really like the new skin with Andre. And uh, regular Mel. Okay. Regular Mel is okay. Andre's okay. Nothing too exciting just yet. 
but we are getting really, really close. So in the next pull or two, we should get ourselves a guaranteed legendary hero. Hopefully, it's Nero. Let's see what we get. Hugh is all right. I'm not building Hugh. Let's see what else we get. Uh, that is it for now. That is it. That Hugh is the only one. Charles, I believe, is maxed out all the way. Let's go ahead and do one more. This should be the guaranteed legendary. Drum roll for hype. Let's see what we get. Is this... This is the legendary. Here we go. Guaranteed. I got... Gahar is an epic. I'm like, Gahar? Gahar is an epic. Magnar is an epic. Two epics and a... Come on, show me the Nero. We got Nero. There we go. That's awesome. We got Nero the hero. Just like that. Anyways, uh, yeah, Nero is really, really good. I'm really excited about him. He's got Frost Guard plus 50% defense. Retaliates against the target's attackers with the unblockable speed down. So speed down is absolutely amazing. That's on his trait. His basic grants him immune for two turns and it deals a bunch of damage. Damage scales with this character's defense. He's going to be a tank of all tanks. His special deals 90% damage to all enemies and prolongs the main target's negative effects. It excludes bosses, but the damage does scale with the character's defense. That's really cool. And then the ultimate deals 110% damage to all enemies. Damage scales with this character's defense, and he summons Frosty Cut until the end of the round. Frosty Cut reduces healing effects on the enemy by 50% while under effect. I also thought he had an aura, and there it is. I've been looking for the aura. The aura is on Ascension. Hopefully, it is not a, uh, a 5 Ascension. That remains to be seen. But once he is ascended, grants Frost Guard right before first time taking attacks at the start of each round. The cooldown is one round, and the aura is negative 15 enemy speed. So the aura alone is going to be worth ascending this guy. And since he is a defense-based hero, he deals a bunch of damage. The only thing that I am noticing here is his attack is S tier. Now, since his damage scales on his defense, I am not sure why his attack is S tier and not his defense. That remains to be seen. And if his defense was S tier, that might mean he might be too powerful. He might be overpowered. So that remains to be seen. But there is Nero. Finally got ourselves Nero, which is awesome. I really enjoyed these shard summons. Now, this is going to do it for this video. I have some very exciting announcements in the next video. Stay tuned. I'm super excited to share it. That's going to do it for now. Leave me a nice comment down below. Let me know if you got Nero or if you got anybody else. Also, leave a like and a subscribe down below. And I'll see you in the next video.